guys welcome back to the automation revolution in this video we are going to learn about programming in DCS system so generally in DCS system uh, we are using different programming language like uh, STL sequential function chart then uh, CFC uh, continuous function chart programming block we can use or we can make ladder diagram in uh, main OB and then we can convert in uh, CFC or SFC so there are various method we are using uh, for programming in DCS system and second and uh, second thing very important that uh, when uh, you are configuring uh, this any software programming so mu you must have a license uh, for this Siemens PCS7 otherwise you will not be able to download the program or uh, the hardware configuration so uh, compulsory you need a particular license for systematic manager and uh, PCS7 and uh, any other softwares uh, which are using for DCS system so here uh, right now we are using the semantic manager and uh, in the semantic manager we are uh, we have configured uh, PCS7 and uh, in our previous video we have seen how to configure uh, automation station and uh, engineering stations now in this video uh, I will show you how to make uh, programming or any logic in uh, DC system so first of all uh, we will go for the automation station configuration so you already know here we have generated uh, automation station and uh, engineering station or operating station so from the automation station we will go in configuration so here we are getting the configuration window and uh, from this configuration window these are the distributed our system uh, which are connected with the field area so whether uh, the sensor or any uh, input uh, coming from field area that uh, that um, uh, should be discrete value or analog value which is connected with this uh, IO system so first of all uh, I will show you very basic programming so for this distributed IO particular for any uh, module digital input module I will assign uh, variables tag so I will right click on that module and uh, will go for edit symbol and here I will assign the symbol so you can see uh, here I have um, assigned the symbol for this digital input I 0.0, .0. so up count down count you can give any name so just for the reference i have uh, given name set reset input a b c d like that and here you can assign the data type uh, as per uh, this uh, addressing and after assigning this address you can apply and okay and i will close this window after assigning this uh, addressing for digital input uh, we will go for digital output and uh, same with uh, analog uh, input i will assign edit symbol in a digital output so here you can see uh, i have assigned the symbolic addressing with this digital output so up uh, up output down output and output abcd like that you can give uh, symbolic addressing this symbolic addressing will uh, will be used in sfc method or CFC method so that we will see uh, in this video after assigning this uh, symbolic addressing uh, we will save and compile and then download the program and we will download hardware configuration in this module after successful uh, save and compile and downloading the hardware uh, I will close this window and uh, we will uh, go for uh, comp uh, plant view so right now we are in component view in semantic manager and uh, from this option view we will switch into plant view and in this plant view uh, we will generate hierarchy folder and from that hierarchy folder uh, we will uh, assign continuous function chart so I will right click on the project and go for insert new object and I will create here hierarchy folder and in this folder particular uh, programming uh, chart I will make so I can give here name like uh, gas turbine control and in this gas turbine control I will right click on that and I will assign CFC if you want to detailed information about CFC you can uh, google it uh, or you can find uh, from the Siemens website what is exactly CFC uh, it, it's uh, CFC is actually 
programming language uh, for this PCS7 we can uh, call is a continuous function chart and I will open the CFC window so here we are getting uh, this blank CFC window and uh, in this CFC window we will add a different programming block so here you can see uh, downside we are getting block charts and libraries so from this uh, libraries and block uh, we can uh, configure a block and we are also getting a pre-configured block from this library so here we have different block and from there you can see this bit logic block we are getting and NAND NOR and a comparator control and then converter will getting a counter and from this library uh, we are getting this by default library given by Siemens so PCS7 uh, basic library we are getting SFC library and the semantic net library so all this library is giving uh, us predefined uh, pre-configured block so we don't need to uh, make any lo logic annoyance contact so these are the uh, predefined logical block we can just uh, configure in this CFC window so right now I will uh, just explain you very basic uh, programming so let me tell you uh, I want to make uh, and get so just you can drag and drop this block so here we are, get, we are getting uh, one block for and and if you want to detail information about that just click on that and press F1 so you will get help menu and from this help menu you will uh, get information about input and output or name data type and uh, different result for memory location so here you can see uh, we are getting two inputs and uh, one outputs here and it's uh, uh, like single block and uh, now I want to assign the input with this end block so I will right click on that input and here we are getting option interconnection to address textual uh, interconnection and object property so I will assign interconnection to address so here uh, the symbolic address which we have given uh, from the input output module distributed IO system that addressing we are getting here and uh, from this address list we will assign particular input so let's say I want to give input A sorry I want to give input A and here I want to give input B so left side you can see uh, in this CFC chart this interconnection uh, automatically will take the address I0.4 and 0.5 which we have assigned distribute our system and right side I want to connect output addressing so then interconnection I will assign for this particular output and just double click on that so right side I will get the output addressing if you want to take any uh, comparator option so you can compare so just drag and drop comparator block and uh, here you can see we are getting uh, two inputs uh, this inputs uh, data type is double integer and in outputs we are getting bool option so this will be greater than and uh, greater than equal to equal to less than equal to and and less than so these are the option and uh, we can give here uh, two values an integer and accordingly uh, we are getting here output so I will right click on that and we'll go for object property so here I will assign first input and I will give the value like 10 and ok so here uh, you, you can see this value 10 is displaying once again I will give input to the same input and uh, right side we are getting the boolean output so I want to uh, get the output from this equal to and I will interconnect with another output like output C 
so this interconnection will automatically redirect with this address now i will uh, compile this program so this cfc chart uh, will compile and uh, it's checking whether program is correct or not if there is any system fault or program fault then it will give you uh, error or warning now i will close this window and download this cfc chart into uh, automation station so this program is already downloaded now and we are getting error warning zero and i will monitor the window so right now we we are in run mode and you can see there is no any input in i0.4 and 5 and now i will give input i0.4 from this automation station so now i will give input i0.4 and then 5 so you can see in cfc chart this value is already changing and uh, right side we are getting output so you can see here we are getting one and uh, here we are getting output in greater than equal to equal to and less than equal to because of this both input value are same so like that you can make uh, any logic you can use this library option also and from this lab basic library uh, you can go for block and here we are getting so many blocks this all are advanced programming and uh, you can take input and output programming block in CFC library uh, you can get programming block for this specially uh, as 7300 CPU and uh, this folder is particular for S7400 CPU so diagnosis block and then function block control option you can also get the by default PID control block so all block uh, you have to uh, first study about uh, the parameterization and uh, configuration and then uh, you can uh, use this block in CFC chart so first of all uh, you have to uh, learn uh, all the block in uh, detailed information and then you can make this programming in CFC chart So thank you very much for watching a uh, video and uh, if you have any query or question you can ask me in uh, our channel. I hope uh, you like our programming tutorial and in the next video I will show you uh, another application in the DCS system with PID controller so thank you very much.